my name's Ali and I work with um, Dial a Dog Wash UK. I'm a franchise mentor and coach for everyone within the business. So some of you may already know about us as a franchise. Um, and you may have already downloaded the seven key ingredients needed to making a successful and thriving dog grooming business. So if you haven't had that already, it is a broad look at the world of dog grooming. So it gives you some insight into the types of businesses you run from a being mobile with a parlor to shop based businesses to working from home. So it's a good start for anyone looking at changing employment or starting this as a career and um, wanting to know a little bit more about the different kinds of businesses out there. So please go to www.dialadogwash.com forward slash franchise and download yourself a free guide now. Um, that's a good starting point for anybody. But this is more about um, once you've decided to become a dog groomer and you're looking a little bit further into courses that are out there, some of the pitfalls that you, you may want to um, take into consideration. So the first one um, and most people fall into is um, choosing the course that's best for them, but not thinking past um, the qualification stage of things. So if you really are wanting to run a successful business, half of the business is how you um, deal with the, the day to day, how you're going to set your business up. Obviously, you've got to source all your insurances and public liability. You also need to build a website and start all your social media. And they can take time and effort. And there are a lot of pitfalls within that one criteria where you can trip up and come into lots and lots of hurdles. So as well as training to be a dog groomer, you really need to set aside time to, to look into this side of things as well. Especially, unfortunately, with social media as it is these days, it's very, very easy to um, get bad press and for people to jump on the bandwagon and you need to be able to deal with this side of things it can be quite a pressured environment for people that are starting a young business and unfortunately a lot of people who train to become a dog groomer sadly that they just don't do anything with it or they dip their toe and then they have a bad experience and it, it really really does put them off the truth of the matter is dog grooming is a fantastic business. You get to um, merge your passion for working with animals. For me, when I started to dog groom, I did choose a mobile grooming parlor. So I could be out and about, I had flexible hours, and I had a fantastic customer relationship with people. And I loved what I did. So, and it's very, very lucrative. Um, some people feel that um, making money from something is like a dirty word, but it's not. You just enjoy what you do and you, you make a decent living from it, which are all fantastic points. But it is not enough to, to look at the course um, and pass that and then go from there and just muddle through. You will find you, you could either quite easily crash and burn or you end up having a mediocre business. And for a lot of people, they need to replace a wage and they need, so for some it's, it becomes like a family thing. So it is nice to know that you, you've got the right road and path to success. So yeah, number one is um, looking past the course and looking how you are going to implement your business. Obviously, um, we train our groomers to be trained um, up and running and gaining clients within a short space of time. So we do it within, say, a month to three month span. So we realise most people invest in us and invest in their vans and need a turnaround and be on the road and earning money. So for us, it ranges from a month to three months before you have your van, your parlor, you're trained and you're out there earning a living. And then from then on, we help you increase your workload and get that um, career really going. And so most people within 
six to 12 months, they really are getting quite established. So that is a really important point to be looking at. The second one is from a point of view of us being mobile dog groomers is the van that you choose. Okay, so obviously we supply vans um, and your parlor and everything you need to start from day one. So, and we are really heavily invested that you do have a good quality van and all our parlors are sourceable locally for supplies. So if something breaks down in your van, it's back on the road as quickly as possible, which is what gives you customer reassurance, customer guarantee that you're continually working and customer satisfaction, which is a big part of, of your success. So if you are looking at doing this independently, please, the one thing I would suggest you do is seriously look at the van that you would choose to be your mobile grooming parlour. There are a lot of vans out there um, that really... They don't look great and they don't purport you to have a good image. You need something that is going to have the longevity and looks um, like got the curb peel for when you turn up, really. And that can really hamper the success of a business. So the, the second one is the van to, to give you a guide when, when in our franchise. So to get a good quality van that's created into a parlor, most of your investment with us is taken up in that parlor. You are looking on average around 18, 20,000 pounds to get that van on the road, which can seem quite expensive to some people. But you've got to bear in mind this van will then last you for 10 years. And most of our grooming parlours, we can get our, our franchises earning between probably between 40 to 65,000 pound a year out of that one van. So when you look at it from an investment point of view, it's actually not a lot of money. So and because of the way we build our vans, they are easily um, repaired and bits are replaced. So that's the kind of thing you're going to be looking for. And the other one is to have a support network around you. Um, it, is, it is quite easy to fall down and not get back up when you haven't got a support network because it can seem too daunting and people get just overwhelmed with problems that on their own don't seem too bad, but put them together and it, it can help a lot of businesses uh, be made or broken. So kind of support you're going to need probably is obviously you need your family and friends behind you and rooting for you. And at first you'll have, oh, I'll have, be your groom and, and I'll, I'll get my friends and you can put a poster here. But that really doesn't get momentum in a business. So you need that extra support. It's, it's nice for a week or two and everyone's sharing on Facebook, but it really doesn't get your business established to any great degree. So as well as needing the support for the ban, breakdowns, um, parlor equipment, malfunctions, um, you also need help with, it, it's lovely to, to have that wealth of people around you so if you know all the dog groomers that you can link with it is a really important part because no matter where you train for your grooming and what qualification you pass you are still at the start of your career and it will only be through time and experience that your grooming um, comes into its own and so if you have all the dog groomers around you, you've got people to bat and feedback on and you can ask questions and advice, um, you feel in a safe way, then that is a big part of becoming a successful dog groomer. The other thing is obviously um, how you're going to manage social media. Who is good? It takes up a lot of time, social media does, if you start to get involved with it. Um, and it can run away with you. The, the, the same with your website, that can take up a big chunk of, uh, to be sorted. And it's either a big chunk of time or it's a big chunk of money. So these things can start to escalate and take over and they can cost quite a bit. So if, if it's not your forte, any of this kind of thing, you can always get the professionals involved to help you, but that will cost money. So 
hope, hope that was helpful, but it was just a um, little guide for you and food for thought on the three basic things that we come into contact with when people are looking into becoming a dog groomer. Obviously, these are the kind of things as a franchise we help and support you with. So if you would like to um, ask any more information from us, you can ask us any questions you want. Please just go on to our website, uh, slash franchise and you can book calls with us or you can put requests in and ask all your all your queries and we will answer them as honestly as we can. So, yeah, things to look at are pitfalls of thinking past the course, thinking how you're going to run actually this business and make the success of it. Uh, try not to set up on the cheap. Try to really invest in your van primarily and get something that's going to see you through and be reliable. And also build that support network. How are you going to run everything around your business? Because it is not just your grooming that will make your business a success, strangely enough. Hope you find that helpful and informative. And as I say, hopefully speak to you soon.